Scorpio placements. Let's do you a reading. Uh, Scorpio. Scorpio. Someone here that has been single for a while is thinking of making a move towards you. This person is not really the easy type, meaning that they're very picky and very and for a very good reason. This person, I almost choked on that. This person is protecting their peace, but they see, but they seem to be interested in you. Meaning they see something valuable in you and it's making this person consider you as a good option. You know, I feel like this person could have like a God complex. You know, they are the type that is hard to get, hard to impress, hard to please. And they see something in you that is like, yeah, this is it. That is worth the investment. I feel like they're very logical, like they see people as investments. They wouldn't want to waste their time in a connection that is just based on sexual attraction. This person gets a lot of attention from others. Maybe they are attractive, maybe they have like uh, attractive things that pulls people from different types to them. They are not the emotional type, so when they make an emotional decision, it's based on logic. And to them, it is logical to move towards you. So this is someone that's going to make a move towards you. Not based on emotion, but more like based on logic. It's like It feels like this person sees you as a perfect fit or as a good fit for them. So it's not the most romantic, but I do want to say that this person gets a lot of um, romantic offers and they refuse. It's like they refuse to entertain something that doesn't feel purposeful, I want to say. So it's not about like attraction for this person. It's not even about love. It's about mission. It's about what can we as a, as a team, as, as partners, accomplished together it's like it's like mission driven so they are a little bit like uh this gives me a little bit of a warrior energy you know this person is always looking for the next thing to serve i want to say the next thing to invent the next thing to bring to life uh they like to they, they seem to be a visionary, meaning they like to think first, accomplish later. It's not like, I feel like this person's life is not like a coincidence, you know? It's like based on a lot of planning, a lot of strategy, a lot of um, working towards their strategies or their plans. So you have like a smart ass here. And I say a smart ass because there is a little bit of um, I am better than you kind of energy. Now, I'm not saying that they will be like that with you, Scorpio, in a partnership. I feel like this is, you know, like it, it just feels like this person's uh, personality is about them seeing that others need them for help because they are better. They are smarter. They can they can make things happen. And maybe it's true. I feel like maybe this person has experienced a lot of um, situations where others depended on them. And that's why they are in this leader position. You know, this, this, this is definitely the type of person that if there is a problem, even if it's like with strangers, they, they will be like, OK, look, everybody, listen to me. I have the solution. Listen up. You. What's your name? You do that. And it feels like that. It feels like they are, I want to say they have this leader qualities or dominant personality that kind of puts them in 
charge position. You know? So I feel like they see you as the plus one. Honestly, I don't feel like this person is seeing this connection as equal, meaning they don't really... This person doesn't think that they need you. They just feel like you would be a good psychic. Leave it. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. She's either licking herself or nibbling on the roses. And I'm getting overstimulated. Anyways. You know that when I'm on my period, it's like the tiniest noise makes me... Anyways. So this person, it doesn't feel like they see you as an equal, to be honest with you. Scorpio, it feels like they consider you as a good bonus. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, you know. I'm not saying that you complete this person or you should complete this person. It's more like they are already whole. They don't need you. They want you. And there is the difference. Now, I'm not saying that this person is considers themselves better than you because they wouldn't even choose you if they thought they are better than you. But I do, do keep in mind this person's ego or superior complex is, is kind of there. Now, I'm not saying that this person is going to mistreat you. I feel like they consider most people dumb. <laughs> I mean, I have to agree. You know, I, I see a lot, of the, a lot of dumb people every day. So I have to kind of agree. But it doesn't mean that they will do that to you. Does that make sense? So for them to choose you as a partner, it means that they have respect for you or that they, they, you know, they want to be intimate with you because you are a match. Now, I'm not saying that they, it's like they will take your shine or, you know, or you will kind of outshine them. They don't think that you will outshine them. They are that confident. But they also don't think that you will be a dumb person that they feel superior to. Do you understand what I mean? It's like they see qualities that are in you that they appreciate and they would want you as a partner the same way Batman need, needs Robin. You know what I mean? So for example, if this person is, is an alpha, you are definitely the sigma. If you know, you know. Because a lot of people have different definitions on these things. What I mean by alpha, leader, and the sigma is the leader's right hand. So the leader will consult with the sigma. But after all, the alpha will decide for the pack. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I don't mean, I don't mean what people give alpha, you know, the, the toxic masculine. They think that's alpha. Or I'm not talking about Sigma, which is the meme. I don't even know how people are, I don't know, like, the, the fucking Sigma meme. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the analogies of a Sigma and an Alpha in a wolf pack. Do you understand? So you, you, this person would consider you as the right person to choose to be on their right side or on their right hand, right arm, whatever. As, as the perfect fit, you know, the same way that a king has like a counselor or like a, like a, an advisor, something like that. They see something in you that is uh, going to improve their life, but they also want to bless you <laughs> with their presence. So this person is, is they, they definitely fall on the arrogant spectrum. They are a little bit too confident, you know, to the point where they think they are a, a gift to the world. But hey, you know, it's, there's nothing wrong with that as long as they don't abuse it or as long as they don't become an asshole about it, right? I do feel like this person feels that you two have a mission. 
You know, like you two are supposed to partner up. This person thinks about you a lot. They dream about you as well. And they think that you two have like a mission of some kind. They don't know what that mission is, but they definitely are wanting to find out. So they're going to make a move towards you because they feel called to do so. Whether this person is spiritual or not, they might think it's, for example, if they're not spiritual, they might come to you with the mentality of, I see, I see a good investment here. And if they are spiritual, they could kind of feel like there's a strong connection that is pulling them towards you and intuitively want to explore it. So, yeah, this is definitely new energy. I don't sense any ex or past or history between you and this person. This feels fresh. This feels someone that didn't get involved with you on an intimate level. But it feels like they have. Maybe they've uh, fantasized about you. Because I do see, um, like, not physical intimacy, but spiritual intimacy, I want to say. And my eyes twitching hard. Meaning they either have imagined being intimate with you or they felt like they have memories of being with you and that happens when you have a past life connection with someone it's almost like you are recollecting things from a past life thinking that where is that coming from why do i feel like i've touched you before why do i feel like i've been with you before why does this touch feel familiar why does it feel like home because of past life. So there is potential of past life connection here. This person is straightforward, let me tell you. They are not a bullshitter. And if you are like that, Scorpio, which, you know, you're known to be like that, no bullshit. Uh, this person could see that in you and they like it. They like the fact that you don't beat around the bush. You say it as it is. You know, sometimes you offend people, sometimes you are considerate of their feelings, <laughs> but you say it as it is. And I feel like this person is like that. They're a straight shooter. It's like, they are not afraid of confrontation. You know, they will say what needs to be said. This is definitely the type of person that will intervene when it comes to a situation that they have observed. Meaning if they see someone or some people fight in the street and they see how it started, they will intervene and say, hey, you were out of line or you, 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 you did the wrong thing here. You know, they will intervene and speak for what's right or speak for what they believe in. So this is not a standby -er. This is not a watcher. This is someone that is, uh, that is not afraid to take, act take action when needed. Okay. Yeah, wow. Knight of Cups under the Knight of Cups. Look at that. They're definitely making a move towards you. This is this is uh, an offer of some kind. This is like, hey, let's be together. Hey, let's go out on a date. Hey, I like you. Like it's it feels this is them kind of telling you uh, this is definitely not like a shy person i want to say this is not a shy person you know they will show you that they like you they will uh you know they won't sweat it they will they will not be afraid of rejection they will not be afraid of how you will react this person is confident and they feel like they are a catch like why on earth would you say no to them you know what I mean? Like, they're not even worried about that. <laughs> uh, Scorpio, if this person comes to you and very confidently saying, hey, we're going out on that day, that time, I'll come pick you up or put your number on my phone. Just stare at them for a few minutes. Well, a few minutes is too long. Stare at them for 10 seconds without any answer. 
and then respond and say, okay, here my number. Just for the fun of it, because this person is way too confident. It's like they're not even afraid of you rejecting their ass. They're that confident. And as a Scorpio, we can't, we can't, uh, we can't let confident people like that live peacefully. You know, just, just give them a little bit of the Scorpios there. And then respond, oh yes, sure, okay, here's my number. Just give them, just give them a little edge. <laughs> I'm joking, but kind of also not joking. You know, just, just a little bit of messing around. I'm not saying reject them, Scorpio. Just, I don't know about you, but you know when people assume what I'm going to say? I hate that. <laughs> Is that a Scorpio thing? <laughs> so, for example, if someone comes to me and says, I know who you are, what you are on about, what you are about. That, 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 I don't like that. It's like, I like being mysterious. Hello? Who the fuck do you think you are telling me who I am? Bitch, you don't know me. You know, I don't like to be predictable. Honestly, it's, uh, it's almost like offensive to me. I will even have friends that, that have known me for 10 years, let's say. And they will say, yeah, we know you. Yeah, you, you're going to do that. I'll be like looking at them. It's like, bitch, I show you what I want to show you. You don't know me like that. Don't tell me what I am, who I am. You don't know me. You know the things I tell you. Is that a Scorpio thing? Because it kind of like pisses me off when people assume things. Well, even if they are assuming correct, it's like, ugh, I'm predictable. I have to change that. We can't, we can't have that. But anyways, it feels like, I don't know, like I, I was just like making jokes about you making them a little uncomfortable because they are showing up as very confident. I'm joking. I'm joking. You know, don't, don't fuck with them. Maybe... I mean, to be honest, I feel like this is the type of person that will like, find it funny even, rather than be insecure. Uh, but yeah, anyways, let's continue and see where this energy goes. Let's see. Yeah, this person is dominant. They like to be in control. Scorpio, you might you you and this person might even clash. Because you like to be in control. They like to be in control. Now here is the thing. If you are with someone that knows how to be in control and you don't have to worry about it, you will happily give that control away. It's like, okay, you got this. I don't have to worry. You know? At least at least the healed Scorpio would. Because, you know, like a, a wounded Scorpio is someone that needs to control things even if things don't need, to be, don't need to be controlled. You know what I mean? But if you are like an evolved Scorpio, you will feel like, yeah, this person's got this. I don't have to, I don't have to worry about that. Let them take control. Honestly, I feel like this is the most qualified person you can give control to. Meaning that if they want to control things, when I say control, I don't mean like control you. It's more like controlling the flow of the connection. Meaning that they want to plan, they want to do things for the both of you. They want to um, like plan your dates, for example, or they want to you know, go to this place and they're going to call you, say, hey, get ready. In five minutes, I'll be there. We're going somewhere. It's a surprise. And you don't have to control things too much. You know, you're kind of like tagging along because this person loves to control things. It's, it's like, it's like that's what they do, you know, it's who they are, really. So I feel like you will be very relaxed with this person. You don't have to be in control. Even if you like to be in control, you will feel like with this person, you don't. You don't have to. You can relax. You can just switch your brain off. 
No, I don't mean like, uh, but it's more like, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to do the things. Do you know, does that make sense? I hope it does. I mean, yeah, it makes sense, right? Right? Tell me right. So, yeah. Oh, baby, this person will change your life in a good way, in a good way. Because we have the Six of Swords under the sun. This person will change your life for the better, Scorpio. Like, there's a lot of uh, action energy here, meaning that this person is not someone that just, you know, lives a boring life. They have a lot of uh, ideas. They have a lot of uh, plans. They are definitely ambitious, I want to say that. This is not someone that can rest. This is not someone that can kind of just, like, be content doing nothing. Even if they grow old. Even if they are old. They are not someone that likes to sit down and do nothing. They like to be active. They like to have a purpose. They like to, like, make a difference. And you will definitely tag along. Mm-hmm. You will definitely tag along because it feels like you will agree with um, what this person has to offer, with the, what type of ideas they propose. <sighs> Honestly, I feel like you will be happy to give this person like power. And you know, like a lot of people say that Scorpios are the ones that are obsessed with power or all they want is power. But like, I don't know about you, but I am happy to give other people power if they know how to control it or know how to um, use it, you know? Like, I don't have to be always in power. I don't have to be always in, in control of things. I only feel like I need to be in control when I feel like I know what I'm doing. Like, I'm doing this for the best of us. Do you know what I mean? But if I see that there is someone that is capable of taking control and they know how, what to do with it, it's like, good for you. I can just kick back and put my feet up and enjoy the show. You know what I mean? So this person will make you feel like you don't have to control things. You don't have to. It's like the changes that this person will bring into your life will be refreshing. It's like, where were you? Because... I honestly think that you will appreciate this person's intelligence. Uh, you will appreciate their in initiative, I want to say. Uh, way of thinking, way of doing. They are not the type of person that is an overthinker. Yes, they will plan things and they will think them through, but they won't sit and be stagnant or they won't sit and be um, kind of overthink things to the point where they become stagnant it they will think and then do and sometimes they will think on their feet and they know exactly what to do without taking so long to react or respond you know what i mean honestly i feel like this person is a catch and they know it. <clears throat> and I think that is where their arrogance is coming from. You know, they know they are a catch. You know, and there's nothing wrong with that. Like, uh, for example, if Scorpio, like, you know you are a catch, right? So if you truly think that, you will act like it. It's like, I'm a catch. You'd be lucky to be with me. Like, I feel like this is the energy that I'm feeling from this person. Which can make them appear as arrogant but they truly have the qualities that they are proud of so it's not like arrogance it's more like i know what i offer i know my worth and that could intimidate people not people that recognize worth you know because it takes one to know one but it's more like the insecure people that will find that as uh, arrogance you know so, in my opinion, they are confident, but I do see how, like, people could perceive this as arrogance. Because they are that catch. They are the catch. They
they are they are a catch and they know it it's not like a catch and they don't know it you know which makes a person humble but more like i know i'm a catch and i and i have a lot to offer sit your ass let me show you how it's done it's kind of it's, it's that energy <laughs> Honestly, I don't think this person is like like abusive or toxic. It's more like confident. They get shit done. They get shit done. You know? I do I'm sensing like this person has a lot of people that uh feel inferior to them. <clears throat> Again, we go back to the alpha. I feel like they have people around them that are very submissive to them. And it doesn't matter if it's friends or family or whoever, co-workers, whatever. It's like, if you if you watch this person with other people, you will see that they are an alpha. You will see that other people will submit to them because they have that presence, that power, that author, author, eh, what's the word? Authoritarian or authoritative you know what I mean, right? It's like they have this authority, they have this presence that makes people want to listen to them. And I don't know about you, but you know, like when you see someone that they know their power and other people are like, <laughs> and they submit to that, it's kind of like hot. <laughs> don't you think? It's like, oh, look at you, Alpha. Look at you. When you observe someone being in their power and it's like they know they are a leader and they lead well it's fucking hot it's fucking hot <sighs> just to let you know scorpio this person does have people from their past that are not choosing to let them go okay so just keep that in mind Because they have people from their past that are still trying to be back in their life or still hanging on. Actually, I do see that there is an um, attempt to control this person. Wow. You know, like this person is so good at controlling things. There are people from this person's past that are trying to control this person because they are hard to catch. And uh, this could mean uh, possibly uh, spell work being put on this person in the hopes of them going back to the people that are doing these spell work. So you have people that are from this person's past that are very much stuck on this person. So that could be potentially a problem of some kind um, if something happens between you and this person. But I feel like the connection between the two of you is very hard to break. It's like it doesn't matter what type of spell work from the past people. The connection between you and this person is strong. And these two cards are coming under the lovers. So yeah, you shouldn't even be worried about the, the past people. Now, they will try. They will try to stir some shit up. But I feel like the, the communication between you and this person will be very mature, will be very open. It's not like based on drama and like insecurities. I feel like you both have, like you both know your worth and you're not like easily... Um, What's the word for it? You're not easily shaken, right? And I feel like whatever attempts from the past people that will try to get between the two of you or specifically targeting this person, they will not be successful because you both will have open communication and you have the level of maturity where you're not shaken by just like a little inconvenience that is coming from their past. So you two will handle this well. And it's not going to work. Whatever attempt that these people have, I feel like it's more than one person. Whatever, whatever attempts from the past, 
it's not going to work on the both of you. You two could actually have a mission of some kind. Because that's what this person is suspecting when they look at you. It's like they feel like you two have some type of mission. You know? Like they feel they feel like there is a purpose here. It's not just based on love and whatever, because this person is not really the lovey dovey type. They are more like, what's the purpose? What is the reason? Is it for the betterment of us, people around us, the community, humanity? Because maybe this person is thinking on a like a big scale, I want to say, Scorpio. So I wouldn't be surprised if this person fell to this, whether intuitively with awareness or intuitively without awareness, that there is a mission of some kind that you two have to be together in order to complete as a couple or as partners. All right, you then. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's pull you another message. Hang on, let me bring my water. Oh, I actually have some here. All right, so I need to dye my hair again, huh? Well, maybe, I don't know, maybe I might grow it. I've had this idea, Scorpio, let me know if it's a good idea. Like genuinely, I don't want the sneaky bitches, okay? But I have an idea where I think I'm gonna take like a blue dye where the white hairs will look blue and because I have like somewhat like black hair, the blue dye will not show on it. But the whites will turn blue. So I'll have like blue roots. What do you think? <laughs> I've been thinking about doing that for a while. Like if I do my, my hair blue, because I have like somewhat black hair, it won't show. But all the white, all the white will be blue. What do you think? I mean, honestly, I'm asking, but I know I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want anyway. I think I'm going to try it. I'm not sure. I think I will. <laughs> Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, but let me know. Just, just, I'm curious. I'm curious if people think uh, if it's, if it's a good idea or not. I mean, I'm still going to do whatever the fuck I want, but I'm just curious if you agree or not. It's like, don't you find that interesting? Sometimes you will ask your friends about things and then whatever they answer it doesn't even fucking matter. It's like you were hoping that they would uh, like answer how you like them to be answering it. But then they disagree and you're like, fuck you, I don't even give a fuck about what you think. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to do that. You will see like blue roots and you might even have like a, like a, a blue shine on the black hair. But you will see blue roots because my white hair is so obvious at this point that it will show you like blue strands uh, hairs. I think it's a cool idea. I've seen someone do it online and I'm like thinking, that's a great idea. Especially as, you know, someone that has black hair and you have like white hairs. It's like blue roots. Anyways, little randy round. That was like a very woman moment, right? Let's see, Scorpio. I'm eating fireworks. 
Last six card bill. Let's put in on message. You have someone here that uh, created distance between the two of you that is missing you. So they either have broken up with you or they ghosted you or they, you know, uh, distanced themselves from you. And now they're missing you. I do sense regret here. It's like I should have done better or I should have, I should have been more active. I should have done more. There's regret here. This person's thinking, how can I fix it? Or how can I get in your good graces again? This person has feelings for you. This is definitely a person from the past. Yeah. They ended this. They were the cause of the separation between the two of you. Now, they could have done something and then you broke up with them, but I feel like they were the cause of that breakup. They did something. They either broke it off or did something stupid that you broke it off. Do you understand? So this person is thinking, well, how can I fix this? Because they, they have feelings for you. Maybe they didn't know that they had feelings for you when they were fucking with you, but they definitely know now. So they're thinking, well, okay, so I'm going to have to do something soon because Scorpio is slipping away. And I can't have that happen. So, okay, they're not ready to let you go, even though they caused you to let go. I just heard Mission Impossible. So uh, maybe you have made up your mind. And once the Scorpio makes up their mind, ooh, it's like blowing a pierced balloon. Scorpio, I'm going to see where this goes in the extended, you know, I do feel like if you want this person and if you're not completely done with them, they are definitely planning to make a move or to try to fix this somehow. I don't see how, but I do see, it, see their intention. I do see them thinking about it. Or thinking about how, how can I fix it? And they could be exploring their options. Now, let's see where this goes. Let's see where the energy flows in the extended. The extended link is in the description box. I'll see you there.